scrap. Bilal Muhammad and Diego Lima. That's a sleeper of a fight. That's gonna be a good scrap right there. I, and go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I think. I think. I think. I, because the thing is, uh, Bilal Muhammad is heavily favored in this fight. Um, he, from what I recently checked, he was minus three fifty. So, but the thing is, I've been coming in with the mindset that Diego Lima, since you know his brother is Douglas Lima, they train out the same camp as Dustin Poirier, and all these guys are attacking that calf kick. Yeah. And I feel like like Diego Lima might come because Baha Muhammad is flat footed. He likes to come on the inside. He likes to like like make the fight. Sometimes he wrestle people and but he puts a lot of uh, weight on that lead leg. If uh Lima can just attack that calf kick, it'll be interesting once again coming from American top team. Those calf kicks, man, that's like that's like uh, it's like DC said, like when he when in the McGregor fight when Poirier was fighting McGregor, he's like that's like a calling card of ATT. Like all the ATT boys, they all do that. They just like chop the leg, chop the leg, chop yeah. the leg, chop the and leg. And remember who, who's who's one of the coaches back, um, which is Tiago Alves, and Tiago Alves was a phenomenal striker in his era. Good point. When he fought, Good point. When he fought GSP, GSP had to wrestle him for five rounds. To to be able to to avoid be, the uh, leg kicks. To, to avoid yeah avoid the leg kicks avoid the striking coming from Tiago Alves which yeah these guys aren't That's playing a good with that point. Kid. and Dan Hardy I heard Dan Hardy say something which is kind of true because these guys are trying to figure out how to defend the calf kick and they said the only there's only really two ways to defend the calf kick which is turning into it like um hitting the shin against bone against bone which is gonna hurt both the guys or just getting out of the way of the kick but it's, McGregor it, McGregor tried to do that. Like one of the last calf kicks that Dustin Poirier landed, McGregor he tried to turn into it, but it's still like you still feel it. Like it makes it a little less impactful, but like you're still feeling it. What happens is when they when they kick that calf and they're able to land like that little spot, that little sweet spot right behind the knee, like that little like sweet spot right behind the knee, that's that um like literally kills your leg like your leg yeah and numb. Numbs. you get like dead leg is what it's called yeah, and it swells like, up that's what like you see, about that. yeah you see these dudes in the ring trying to play it off but we all know like bro like your leg is done for and like if you're in the ring with a dude like you're gonna smell that blood and you're gonna finish them but yeah these dudes they're just coming all these att dudes they're coming they're attacking the legs like that's it's a smart game plan it's so I would, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Lima uses that kick uh, going into that fight. So yeah, that that um that's a that's a great fight right there. That's a good test for Lima too. I, that's like probably one of the best guys he's fought up, or that he's gonna fight up to this day because Bilal Muhammad's pretty good. He um he's a he's uh he's fought some pretty good dudes. Uh, like these breakdowns. Make sure you look at the other videos that I have. And subscribe now to our MMA420 YouTube channel. Now on Instagram at underscore MMA420 underscore.